Let's briefly, if we may, go back to your involvement in one of the iconic uh, productions or stories of Canada, Anna Green Gables. Oh, well, that, that, that was kind of simple, actually. You know, we did, uh, we did for many years a lot of reviews uh, in Canada, and it was obvious that the time had come when we ought to do full-scale musicals. I did my first when I left Stratford and came to town with no money, no nothing, and decided I was going to put on Sunshine Town, which on the stage, which had been done on, on uh, uh, television. This is based on the Stephen Leacock stories. Based on Stephen Leacock's Sunshine Sketches of a Little Town. And uh, so I scrabbled together the money to do that. That was the first large-scale uh, mounting of a Canadian musical that had been tried, though it was about simultaneous with um, uh, Timber, Dolores Clayman's musical, was done in Vancouver uh, at Theatre Under the Stars, which, w which is another, and again, something that would be nice to be revived. She wrote the music. She's most famous for having written the theme song for Hockey Night in Canada, <laughs> which may never be heard again. <laughs> um, and but then it became apparent. Interesting in the discussion of Canadian culture, inevitably has come up hockey, because <laughs> we're in the middle of a hockey lockout, so there's no hockey. But it is part of the exactly. well. It is not the growing part of culture, but it is <laughs> it is partly who we are. But the then then the effort to to do Canadian musicals turned to television because this was the one place where they could be done, where there was some money, and in fact I was only able to do Sunshine Town because the television version had bequeathed me the orchestra parts. Oh. Huge expense, you see, which I was able to then borrow from the CBC for the theater pit. Right. And so uh, Norman Campbell the, uh, was the one who took this in hand at CBC and did uh, a good many musicals, including one of Anne of Green Gables, which Don Harron had come to him with as an idea for a musical, and they did it on television. Then, uh, in 1963, when I was getting set in my own mind for a, a festival, a real festival of Canadian musicals in Charlottetown, this is one of the things I first thought of. And in fact, our hand was pushed a bit because uh, at, when the Queen came to do the official opening at the end of the first season, we did a we did a variety show there, which Lauren Green was kind enough to come up and host for us, and we it was a star-studded show um, from across the country. Um, but afterwards, when the Queen came backstage, she asked me about the number we had done in it from Anna Green Gables because I'd. I had taken one of the local singers and had her do the Anne Green Gables song from the television show. And she said, uh, uh, she said, I've always loved Anne Green Gables. I read her as a girl and I've always loved it. And uh, she said, what are you going to do with the rest of it? And I said, oh, uh, next year you're <laughs> just, <laughs> so we sort of had to do it. And it was in a great rush because Don was most of the time in Hollywood, Norman was in uh, Toronto, and I was in Charlottetown. And uh, uh, the designer, Murray Lawfer and uh, Marie Day, the costume designer, his wife, were in Toronto. Uh, so it, it was really very difficult to put together. I had to write some of it eventually, though I was theoretically, I commissioned it and I was producing it. Alan Lund was directing it. But I had to write some because Heron was stuck in Hollywood and we needed lyrics for some numbers that had to be rehearsed. So I sat down and wrote the lyrics, at which by that time I was a fairly old hand. So four of the numbers in Anna Green Gables are mine. And Still I, being performed to this day. It's oh, all over the world. It's been quite remarkable. And made you a fantastically wealthy man. No, I get it. I get it. Oh no, I get it. I, I think it's done all right by Harron and Campbell, but I have no, I have uh, I have tiny tiny portion 
I got a check for eight dollars and fifty-seven cents from Sweden now. And then, Should be know. thankful. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the great thing about Anne was its acceptance from the word go with its own audience. It was designed for that audience. 